skilling feels like this. PVM feels like this. <sighs> but getting pets? Pets feel like this. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh my fucking god, bro! I got the fuck. <laughs> Welcome to One Pet at a Time, the Extreme Edition. Okay, I feel like I might be kicking off the One Pet at a Time series again. 709 days since we logged in. Let's see what we've got. Uh, so we've got the full Winter Todd kit. So this looks like we're pretty we were pretty much just at Winter Todd. Um, 89 fire making, not bad. Uh, 50 wood cutting, not bad, considering I think we probably started that at level 3, <laughs> which isn't too bad. Um, I don't think we got the Phoenix pet. Let's have a look what we've got in the bank. Hopefully there is no bank pin. Ah, okay, this might be difficult. Okay, actually wasn't too bad, so we managed to get that in. Um, okay, so we've got all our starter kit. Looks like just a load of winter tub stuff. No crates. Uh, multiples of this, which I think we can turn in these days for additional um, additional rolls, uh, which might be interesting. Uh, we've actually got time of fire, which is quite interesting. Um, yeah, this is actually quite a handy little account, really. I mean, it's a starter account. It's a hardcore Iron Man, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I might um, I might kick this one off again because. It looks it looks fun. It's a fun idea. I think I'm probably going to rein the uh, rein the series in a bit in terms of how difficult it was. I think I'm just going to have it as literally it is one pet at a time. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we got ten agility um, without training it. Um, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I think the only rules that I'm going to have for this series are going to be one pet at a time. Any activity that gives um, a roll at a pet, we are then locked to that pet. So if I, you know, I'm running to try and do a quest and accidentally click a rock and, you know, that's me now mining, <laughs> for example. Um, so yeah, and then I've got to mine until I get the mining pet. Or if I, you know, kill, oh, I don't know, if I kill Vorkath or something, that's it, me locked. I've got to kill Vorkath until I get the pet. But yeah, I think that'll be an interesting and fun way to play the game. Uh, so yeah. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so I just put a me put membership on the account, and I just thought the first challenge of this is going to be getting back to Winter Tide because I'm pretty sure there isn't. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, there isn't a teleport. Is it to Winter Tide? No. <laughs> Where is it again? Don't you have to like run past wolves? And I'm only ten hit points. Um. Okay, I need to kind of brainstorm the fastest way to get back. So, I've just bought about 500 cakes because I was actually out um, on my way to Wintertard. Really nice place to buy cakes at this baker in Karend. Um, so, 500 should be enough to get me to past 99, I believe. Um, but now I just need to go up the paths to get to Wintertard. Um, I can't actually remember how to get there, which is probably not a good thing. I think I go up here and then to the left. And I think the wolves are actually here, so you just need to not go too far. Um, so I'll be really careful on that. Um, but yeah, we should be back at Winter Todd soon. And hopefully I can survive, because it would be quite annoying to die on the hardcore on the first day. <laughs> or during the first bar. I mean, at least we need to get to fighting a boss before we die, surely. Okay, I'm back at Winter Todd, and I am doing the um, hopping method by the looks of it. Uh, all right, it's so 62%. Might be able to get enough. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to start this again. It's been a while. Um, I'll probably not update too often. I am going to be fletching, and I am going to be doing construction. Um, and yeah, hopefully not dying. Uh, so I'm going to turn my volume up. So I hear all of the uh, sounds and me getting battered. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for this. Ooh, combat achievements! That's exciting! <laughs> wow, that's a lot of combat achievements in for, for, for considering I started about halfway through. Um, Alright, this is perfect. So this Winter Tard Hopper is going to be very, very helpful for doing this quickly. 
Um, I've got the notifications on, so I shouldn't die because everything's going to flash red at me when I stop, um, stop fletching and stuff. Uh, so that is very exciting. Okay, so I think I'm going to open these up per day. Um, to, to kind of keep it so that I'm not just opening individual crates, but also I'm not building them up to 99. Um, so yeah, I guess let's get started and do five at a time. Uh, any collection, I think with the collection log, we've got everything aside from the pet and the dragon axe. So any collection log pop-ups are going to be something very, very interesting for the account. So let's see what we can get. Uh, probably nothing. I'll speed it up unless there's anything interesting. And that's the last of them, and there was nothing from, I think it was about 45 crates there. Um, but we're up to 90 fire making now, um, which is actually impressively high. Um, and yeah, I only nearly died once, I got to one hit point, but I uh, et up in time. And uh, yeah, the fletching, the fletching level is really, really high. I don't remember getting the fletching so high, but I don't know what level it's going to get to. I think it should probably be about 70 something before 99, which is actually pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this so far. Uh, it's, it, I've been doing a lot of raids uh, when, I was a, when I was an Iron Man, so it's quite nice to kick back and relax and do something chill that winter time. Well, I guess I'd better record the levels, because there's not going to be that many of them. And then at the end of the levels, um, I'm going to be in for a long, 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 long grind, potentially, of absolutely nothing happening, which would be quite miserable. Uh, imagine if I go like 130 mil XP without getting the pet or something. I mean, there really would be not many clips uh, if that is the case. Um, if that is the case, if I get to 99, I've not got the pet, which is probably pretty likely. I might look into ways of um, training some of my stats that in non-pet related ways. So doing either quests or um, kind of like things like training cooking via um via like buying fish or something like that um because these winter crates are just going to be increasingly useful um the higher my levels are um because at the moment i'm like opening the crates and just getting like taramin and trout and just crap like that right um, so if I can get my levels up a bit, like my crafting and, and such like that, then that would be really useful for opening these crates. Um, and I should be able to do quite a lot of that without without training or training any method that gets a pet or killing anything that get, gives a pet. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully that will go well. But hopefully we will get the pet at you know ninety nine plus five k XP. That would be ideal. 92 fire making which I just missed the uh, I missed the recording for because I didn't have Camtasia up and then got hit by the brazier uh, but we're at 92 fire making now I'm loving the fletching levels I mean I'm thinking if I go really deep into the fire making like way past 99 I'm probably gonna end up with like you know nearly 80s 90s fletching possibly and I think construction, I mean, I might swap to solos at some point because I think 200 mil fire making is 99 construction. And that would be very, very cool. Um, <laughs> this is a bit awkward. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just died. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm tempted to remake it and do a different path. Remaking it might be the move. I feel like the Winter Todd grind was good, but was also a bit potentially long. Maybe running it back and starting with something else would be better. Not entirely sure. We'll see. Oh, okay, right. I think I'm going to stick with it. I think. It doesn't really matter. I think I was obviously going to die eventually. Um, because, you know, if I was going to start doing potentially like 2,000 Corrupted Gauntlets to get the get the 
Hunliffe Pet and stuff, I, that was going to result in a death sooner or later. Um, so I think probably the best plan is just to stick with it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> a bit annoying. It just feels wrong dying on a hard cry, man. Um, I've only done it once before. No, twice before. And it was not pleasant those times. Uh, this is slightly less bad. Um, but yeah, I think I'll stick with it for now. <laughs> level 93, the first level as a normie Iron Man. Oh, it's, it's making me feel slightly sick being a normal Iron Man. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And I think a bit like, you know, Tedious' series... Um, generate task and uh, Limpwort series. Uh, I don't think it's too important to be a hardcore Iron Man. It'd be nice, but it's going to come to an end eventually. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with this account. I don't see why I shouldn't. And, yeah, wish me luck on the pet. 95 fire making. Getting through it, getting through it. I'm going to swap to solos at uh, 99. I don't know if I've said that or not yeah but i am going to and there is 96 fire making only three more levels to go we're at 58 wood cutting 64 fletching 41 construction uh total levels flying in so i just went and did druidic's ritual uh ahead of any potential um soloing that we're going to do because you need to have uh, herbs unlocked for that and i'm actually just going to use some of these herbs now um, just kind of boost our herb law level a bit, see where we get to. Okay, we managed to get to 21 herb law with just the stuff we had in the bank. Uh, not too bad, I'd say. 128 attack pots. Um, that should hopefully get us some better loot um, from the crates themselves and should also um, allow us to do soloing quite effectively. Okay, so today I've spent some time doing some solo runs for the first time ever. Um, and I've got four chests. I'm going to actually, after these four, stack them up till 99. Um, but I'm just going to enjoy opening these four, seeing what's in 27 rolls each. So uh, let's get stuck in. Okay. Alright, nothing exciting, but it's a long, long, long list of loot, which is very cool. Uh, let's grab another one. Open. Oh, I've got some trousers, but nothing new. Nice. Got some irrit seeds. Let's see what we get in this one. Nothing new. It's nice getting like 25k cash in each one, though. That's pretty cool. Um, and then the. Oh, I've got magic logs for the first time. Nice. They're useful. They're useful. Um, cool. Uh, and let's see nothing in here either so yeah i'm gonna stack these up until um until 99 which is another three levels two and a half million xp so i should get another 12 or 13 before 99 um and i'll uh i'll post another another clip then opening them Okay, so I decided to do some quests, um, mostly because I actually want to level up my magic, um, because I want to make uh, I want to make some games necklaces so I can teleport to Winterthal easily, um, and I also there's a kind of working plan here to start on things like birdhouse runs quite soon, um, so yeah, that would be good. It would also be good to get up to like fifty magic so I can use my tomes of fire. Um, for other quests, so I can like you know use fire um, bolt and hit like twenty sixes or something, um, at, like really low combat. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We can't get our hit points above about uh, I think it's eighteen. We can't get our hit points above, um, but we should have plenty, plenty of um, space to um, avoid that uh, before we get our magic very high because I can always obviously swap to low alchemy at the uh, major arena or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the working plan for now. Um, and I'm hoping I'm going to be 13 magic by the end of this. So let's see. The magic levels are flying by level 11, but I think we're crucially going to have to kill or partially kill General Kazard himself. Because uh, I don't think I'm going to get 13 magic off of Bouncer. If you can hear that, that's my baby in the background. 
Oh, are we going to get it? Looks like we are. No, we're four XP off. Oh, no. Okay, what are we going to do here? Hopefully not die, because if I die at this point, apparently... Apparently I can't get my stuff back or something. So, we'll see what that means. Uh, oh! Run! Okay, can we attack him over here? Well, there's our 13 magic. And it appears we can attack him over here, so let's just give it a go. Let's kill him. We need magic levels, so let's just do it. Okay, we decided to run away uh, <laughs> because I didn't actually. I was starting to get quite a lot of hit points levels. Um, I was level. Tw I'm level 12 hit points, which is fine, but I don't really want to go higher than 18. Um, but while I'm still at Winter Todd. Um, so I'm kind of trying to do everything I want to do whilst keeping my hit points below 18, which is kind of far from ideal. Um, so I will decide to leave the majority of that XP still able to get. But this should get us a load of levels, I think, in attack and thieving, maybe. Um, and crucially for the thieving levels, um, without a pet roll. So I can get levels in thieving, as I just got. Level 14, pretty good. Um, and level 29 attack. Uh, but I didn't roll for any pets, which is exciting, because that means that I can train these skills via quest XP quite high and get like other quest requirements and that kind of thing without doing anything that's going to trigger a pet roll and therefore I can't do it. So yeah, here we are and we're probably going to do some more quests now, but I'm not sure which one, so we'll see. Okay, supposedly... Can I go this way? Uh, supposedly... Oh no. Oh no! Oh, okay, right. So there's there's gold bar spawns up here, supposedly. I need 15 agility. Okay, I'm going to need to do a quest to get me some agility XP. I think the Grand Tree will give it to me. I'll check that. Okay, this is a tougher spot than I thought. So I can't get 15 from the Grand Tree because you need 25 for that. Um... It looks like you can do underground pass, but <laughs> the rest of my stats aren't really appropriate for that. Um, recruitment drive gets you a thousand XP, which would put me a hundred and eleven off. But that would just be an XP lamp. Uh, that might be my best bet, to be honest. <laughs> oh, or I could just. Or could I not just find a shortcut that I can do at this level and just do it over and over again for a little bit of XP? Corsair Cove shortcut. Where's that? What? I need Dragon Slayer to... Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. No. Right, no easy gold bars for me. Right, what do I need then to get gold bars? Uh, that's either 33 magic or 40 smithing. Oh, that's so arduous. That's so arduous. Okay, so I spent some time on mobile last night sorting some things out. So firstly, we got 45 magic, um, which is pretty sick because that means that we have now been able to make ourselves some rings of dueling and some games nexuses so we can kind of easily get back and forth um, from Winter Tard, which is great and gives me a lot more freedom. I've also been able to unlock the Camelot teleport, which get, lets me get to like sort of this side of White Wolf Mountain, which is always quite a nice quality of life thing. Obviously, Falador and Varok teleports as well, which is which is very big for a, a very early account like this one. Um, I also spent some time just using up some of my resources. So I got thirty five cooking. I've actually got lots of fish in the bank still i didn't bother using them all but i thought it was useful to start getting some stats i did uh, sea slug to get this fishing level um which should help our crates um and yeah it's, it's we're starting to look a bit more well-rounded um, and i'm probably going to start doing kind of quests in between winter tard every now and then okay this should be 99 if we can burn the oh no oh no we're gonna come one short <gasps> Uh! <laughs> All right, I'll be back shortly with 99. All right, here it comes. 99 fire making. So I'll go buy that cape shortly. And then if I can't get the pet from the crates that I've got stacked up, then I guess we're going post 99. 
Okay, let's grab this cape then. Always a nice one to get. I think it's probably the oh no, I don't know how many times, third, fourth time, something like that. Getting this one. And there we go, made our outfit complete. We look like the fire making guy. Um, and so we're going to go back to Wintertard now and open up our crate. So I've been doing the hop method rather than solo, so I just it fits in kind of better with my routine over the weekends. Um, but I'll show you how many crates we have. A shitload. Looks like a hundred maybe? Maybe slightly more? Um, but yeah, we'll open all these up, see what we can get. Probably about a 5% chance of the pet. So if we get it, that would be very cool. Just got another Tome of Fire. Uh, let's see how many we can get. Oh, and another one. <laughs> Turns out it's as easy as that to get Tomes of Fire. Uh, four Tomes of Fire now, which is pretty cool. Pretty sure you can hand those in for Burnt Pages, so we're gonna have... Um, we're gonna have Burnt Pages for days, when we finally get a Harmonized Staff one day. Uh, I mean, that's probably several years away, if not decades. No pet <laughs> from that then. Ooh, that's a bit of a yikes, uh, but it is what it is. Um, what I'm going to do is probably use up some of these extra resources to get some levels. Um, but yeah, back to the grind. Okay, I think I'll call it there for the episode. 99 fire making. Um, onwards to the endless grind of post-99 fire making. But yeah, if you're happy to see this series back, give this video a like. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to keep playing. I really want to get the Phoenix and start our next grind and, and you know, start doing more of the sort of planning of the account. Um, but next episode, we're going to try Bone Voyage, I think, um, as one of our main goals. And yeah, just keep up the winter tide. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. And goodbye.